Fire in the hole. Hello, Alex here, and I'm gonna show you how to make a TNT cannon today. So let's get we're gonna get started. Um, I set. You're gonna want to get obsidian. Obtain some obsidian to do this. We're gonna start out by making the base for it. Set out. You know you. Okay, and then you gotta get a bucket of water. Place it down. And you gotta go. You gotta place obsidian all the way to the end of where the water stream is. And you gotta place two blocks on one on one side and one block on the other. That's gonna be for later. <laughs> And you gotta place a stone, a, any kind of slab at the end, stone brick preferably, because it looks nice. And then we're gonna, okay, now we're gonna do the redstone wiring. Place this block down. You're gonna set it to, you're gonna set the red, the redstone to the third wire, to the th to the fourth setting each of them to the repeaters now you set redstone all the way up to the second to the last block place your button now you place uh, place redstone there place your TNT down now if you And now you're ready to use your TNT cannon. Let's go. Fire in the hole. Depends on how far you want it to go. Put it, put it, put as much TNT, you can put as much TNT as you want to fit. Just leave the last block open so the water can flow down and soften the explosion. More TNT for more distance. If you want less distance, put less TNT. If you want to, s over here we have an eight and one TNT cannon. Took a little time, little didn't take long to make. You just add redstone repeaters at the end. It to strengthen the signal. And then place all your TNT down. Mine the slimes. There you have it, TNT cannons. And this TNT cannons, you, you, their uses are for mainly factions and PvP servers that allow griefing. So yeah, TNT cannons 101. This is Alex. Bye bye.